ready for the start. They're off in the Knob Creek Manhattan. And War Dancer broke very well, and Legendary and War Dancer will be the early leaders. General A. Rod came out running in third position to the outside of them, and then comes Twilight Eclipse, followed by Magic Artist as the field races for the turn. Then Jack Milton to the outside. Hyper is down toward the rail, Slumber is after that. And then Finnegan's Wake, who's near the back of the field, right alongside of Biz the Nurse. And last of them all is Big Blue Kitten, a 24 and four opening quarter mile for War Dancer who's on the muscle early here. War Dancer is the leader as they head on to the backstretch. Legendary is a half length behind running in second. Twilight Eclipse is close up in third. General A. Rod on the outside is fourth. And then it's the European Magic Artist and Hyper on the inside, right against the hedge, two and a half lengths off the lead. Jack Milton and Slumber follow them. Then is the Nurse, followed by Finnegan's Wake and Big Blue Kitten and Joe Bravo trail the field up the backstretch. They went a half mile in 50 and one fifth seconds. The leader is War Dancer. Jose Lescano and War Dancer a neck in front of Legendary and Edgar Prado, who are second on the outside. Right in behind them, Twilight Eclipse. Hyper needs running room down toward the hedge as they move into the turn. And then it's General A-Rod, Magic Artist, Slumber to the inside, Jack Milton, Biz the Nurse, Finnegan's Wake, and Big Blue Kitten. Three quarters win in one, 14 and two. Around the far turn. No change so far. War Dancer still going at it with Legendary. These two have been one, two throughout. Twilight Eclipse just off of them. Hyper cuts the corner, and they're into the stretch, and Legendary runs for the lead. It is Legendary on the outside. Down toward the hedge, War Dancer tries to fight on in second. Slumber and Twilight Eclipse are coming. Here's Slumber, and Slumber runs by Legendary. Slumber and Irad Ortiz, and they're pulling away late. It is going to be Slumber to win, and it is Big Blue Kit that gets up for second outside of Legendary. Finnegan's wake was for. So it is Slumber and Irad Ortiz Jr. for trainer Chad Brown that comes on late and gets the victory. There's Chad Brown celebrating a win in the Manhattan. Owned by Mike Dub, trained by Chad Brown, ridden by Irad Ortiz Jr. Was well back. That's how he runs. He, he runs from well back. Most of his races this year have been great races. He'll run up there in the second and can't quite get by the winner. Today, he put him away. Very patient uh, ride under a slow pace. Uh, Big Blue Kitten was searching for room and behind him. We look at the top of the stretch. Big Blue Kitten in the red and the white cap. Slumber with the pink cap and the yellow silks. Angles out. Perfect spot for Ired Ortiz to angle him out. Hit the seam running. And the rest is history. Runs down Twilight Eclipse. War Dancer who set the, a slow early pace. Very impressive performance. Big Blue Kitten maybe... Maybe even ran better, not having a place to run until they completely straightened out. Yeah, you talk about Chad Brown, the number one turf trainer, grass trainer in America last year. Not only wins, but runs second. And uh, has back-to-back -back Manhattan victories. He had real solution last year. So both Slumber and Big Blue Kitten from the barn of Chad Brown. Slumber wasn't sleeping today. He put no. it on. He might have been for a while, but he woke <laughs> up in a hurry as soon as he got racing room. And the fifth stakes win in the past 24 hours for Irad Ortiz. He's on a roll for sure as Slumber takes the Manhattan.